Okay, so we've had lots of questions about how to do these hair wraps, so I'm going to kind of do a step-by-step -step tutorial to show you. Okay, so first you want to make a braid. I recommend doing this on wet hair because um, it just makes it so the hair is not sticking out, and then you won't, when you're wrapping it, the hair won't get caught in it. So she took a shower, and so I'm just going to make a little, a little square right there in the corner right there. Now I'm going to put all this hair in an elastic. I'm just going to brush her hair up and get it out of the way. Okay, so we have this little section right here. What I'm going to do is just let it down a little bit. What I have ready is I have some elastic shreddy. Then I have the three um, strings of embroidery thread. So what I do is I do it double the length of her hair. So I did it just a little bit longer just in case, but um, it's pretty much safe to just do it double the length of her hair. And I'm going to tie it into the elastic when I make the ponytail. So here, turn your head just like that. Okay, so you just want to get all that hair. There's going to be little hairs that are going to probably fall out, so that's fine. So then just get this and just add an elastic. Okay, so then I'm going to get my thread right here. I'm just going to put it through there, have it on the bottom. And then just tie a knot. Do that. Just tie one knot. You don't need to do a double knot. One that seems to work good. Okay, and then I'm going to trim, but be very careful not to cut her hair, just pretty as close as I can to that. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just put a braid in this right here. And then I'm just going to add an elastic in the bottom. So to start, you're going to pick your color. What color do you want first? Uh, pink. Pink. Okay, so she wants pink. So what you do is you here. Can you hold that right there Thank you. for a second? See how they kind of get intertwined? You just want to pull that pink one out so it's not being like... Um, twisted around one of the others. So I'm going to put that over there and I'm going to bring this down to here. I'm going to hold this in my right hand and this is just the way that I have found easy to do it. Um, I'm sure there's other different ways but so I'm going to start going this way. So I'm going over and then under. So I'm going to the left. So I go under and then I grab it with my pointer finger and I bring it around and then I just keep doing that. So some people have done this and they tie it. I don't do that because first of all, I think it would be a nightmare to do. And I also think it would be a nightmare to take out. You can see it's just starting to go. Okay, so you don't wanna go down too far. You wanna keep the thread as close to the one right above it. Okay, and then see, look, I'm just gonna start going a little faster. And if it gets like that, you can just go and push it up, okay? because you want to make sure all the hair is covered. Okay, so I'm going to go down about an inch on her hair. And I'm going to do a design on this next one. And that's where I've had lots of questions on how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her hold this pink one. Just hold that nice and tight. And I'm going to pick, I'm going to do the pattern with these three colors. So first I'm gonna wrap the yellow and then I'm gonna use the blue and the purple to do a crisscross pattern. So I'm just gonna put these over here. I'm gonna grab the pink one and add it back into the braid and then pull this yellow one out. Now I'm gonna have her, can you hold those right there? So she's just gonna hold them so they're out of the way. And now I'm gonna get this yellow one and we're gonna do the same thing but the pink one is what we're gonna be going around. So 
we have the braid and the pink one and we're just going to do what we did before okay so when I get to this point I'm gonna get a bobby pin just a bobby pin and I'm just gonna add it to the very bottom right here going to add that bobby pin right there and it's just going to kind of hold that in place. So now I'm going to take these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split them in half. So you have one on each side. You're going to just go over and cross and then under and cross and you're just going to, so it's just a little pattern that we're making. Super simple. But you need to put that bobby pin on there because if you don't, it you can't hold both of those at the same time. So it makes it kind of tricky. All right, so one more time. And now we're going to do the blue one as our wrap. So I'm going to put that blue one over there. So, so we've wrapped it around. I'm going to take this off. So now we're going to do the purple. So I took the bobby pin off and I'm going to have her hold that one. I'm doing the purple because it's already going this direction. So I'm going to add the blue one to the, so I have the braid and I have the pink, the yellow, and the blue all in my hand. I'm going to take this purple one and do the same thing and just start going around again. Okay, so now we've done this color, so now we're going to do a little section of blue. So I'm going to take the purple one and add it to the braid. I'm going to take the blue one out. And now we're going to just continue on. Whenever you pull it around, you want to pull on it just to make sure it's really tight. Okay, so now we're going to go back to pink, but on this pink one, we're going to do a pattern. So I'm going to take the purple thread and just hang it over right there. And I'm going to take the pink thread, which is the one I'm going to wrap. I'm going to... So there's the pink one. So. I've ended with the blue, so I'm going to add it to the braid. So now I have the blue and the yellow, and I'm going to do pink. Um, and she's holding on to this purple one because we're going to do another design with it. So I'm just going to wrap the pink around about an inch down. So we've added the bobby pin. We're going to take this one and we're just going to wrap it around just like a little spiral around it. And again, you don't have to do the patterns. I just thought I'd show you guys how to do them in case you want to. I think it's just as cute if you just do colors and it's cute if you do like some colors smaller, like just do like teeny tiny stripes. Maybe we'll do that. Is that okay if we do some little stripes? Mm -hmm. All right, so we've gone around to that. And now the next color is yellow. So and we like to keep it in order. It's just the way I like to do it. So now I'm going to pull the yellow one out. And I'm going to do the same thing. But this time we're only going to do a few wraps. We're going to do it around like four times two, three, four. So now I'm going to grab the purple one, add the yellow one to the braid, and now we're going to do purple. 
We're just gonna do some little stripes just to add a little bit to it. And now we're gonna grab the blue, add the purple into the braid, take this and then do this around. And now I'm going to do one with the pink too. Sometimes it gets hard to manage all of them. Okay, so there's the pink. Hold it in your right hand and go around. If you are left-handed, it might be easier to do this. I'm holding it in your left hand and twisting it to the other direction, to the right. Um, it just depends on what you want to do. All right, so now we have our little stripes right here. And now we're going to go back to yellow and do a big section of just yellow. Because we have not done one of just yellow and had it be the only one. Alright, so I'm just going to keep doing this until we get to the end. I'm just going to put in the last stick right at the very end. You can see your hair sticking out a little bit, but we'll trim that. Okay, so when you get to the end, do you see how her hair is in there? I get kind of nervous sometimes cutting it because I don't want to cut her hair. So I'm going to go through and pull the strings out and separate her hair from it. So I'm just going to go and make sure I don't cut her hair. Okay, there we go. And, okay, so it's going to be kind of stiff at first, but it will, it loosens up. And, um, I don't know, we've kept this in for what, two weeks? Yeah. Week, two weeks. She just washes her hair with it. It will start to, like, um, wear a little bit, but not much. So, there you go. Okay, so we did something there. Bottom. Super cute.